Hi, my name is Frank, and today we are unboxing something. So let's see what I bought. Let's see, a, a wireless router? Just kidding, I will not be doing that type of video. My name is Frank Anthony, and welcome back to Let Me Be Frank, the channel where it's 50% podcast, 50% whatever this is. If you are new to the channel, make sure you like this video and subscribe if you want to stay updated with whatever this is. Today I'm going to be talking about this lack of motivation that I've been feeling lately and maybe you guys out there can relate to it and while I talk about that I'm going to rip up a pair of my American Eagle jeans. So these were one of my favorite pair that I've owned for a while. Unfortunately they ripped right in that area. It's kind of it's just kind of not worth trying to patch up or trying to fix at this point. It's very ripped. Unfortunately, stretchy jeans, I think, are a little bit, since they're a little bit looser, they're going to come apart much easier. So yeah, today we're going to rip them up. I have some scissors too. We'll cut them up while I talk. This is what it's like to hang out with I. All right, so I feel like bad. I don't want to rip them. And now there's a big hole. So onto this whole lack of motivation. So... Lately, I've been not feeling inspired when it comes to my writing. If you know me personally, you know that I'm a writer of sorts, trying to be an author, but I can't rip these anymore. But, you know, trying to be a writer, trying to publish a book or whatever, it just it hasn't been happening for me. For the month of November, I've been trying to do this contest. It's called the Nano Miro Contest, and it's November Writing Month where you try to write at least 50,000 words in one month, which is supposed to equate to about 150 pages of a book. So I felt like I was doing pretty well with that, but the problem is that I was doing really good at the beginning, I was staying motivated, and then, and kind of sticking to the word counts, maybe I'd be like one or, 2,000 words short at most. I never wanted to get over 2,000 words short. Um, and what I'm talking about is, when you think about it, 50,000 words equates to 1,666 words a day. If you were able to do that minimum, you could do 50,000 words in a month. I have not been doing that. <laughs> I, there'll be a day where I would only write 300 words, and then the next day I would write 3,000 words. <laughs> so somehow I was staying on track for at least like the first week. Yeah, at least the first week I was staying really on track with the word count. These past few days though, especially, I just have not been writing at all. And like a day like today, it's super sunny out and yeah, it's cold, but honestly cold weather is a perfect time to write inside or play video games or do indoor things. So it doesn't make sense why I can't write. I don't know exactly the reason behind it, this lack of motivation. It's not necessarily, I don't, I wouldn't say it's a loss of interest. You know, losing passion in your interest is a criteria, a diagnostic criteria for certain mental health disorders. So I don't think it's that. I don't have issues. For anyone who's in that contest, definitely comment below how your experience with the Nano Remo contest has been for you. If you've had any stressors, if you've had any successes, any failures, definitely comment below if you're part of that contest or just a writer in general and have faced this writer's block or lack of motivation. I don't even want to say it's writer's block exactly because I have a whole outline up to like about 25 chapters or so. So I don't think it's that so much because I know what I want to write next, but I don't know what I want to write next. And that's the weird thing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know what to do. I don't know how to get this mojo back. Um, COVID just, you know, I could use that as an excuse to like, oh my God, I just can't get anything done. But I, my whole life, I've not been able to finish a whole book. And it's like, why? What is stopping me? Who's trying to fight me? It's myself. I'm my own worst enemy. And that's what I realized. Like I'm my biggest, you know, I would always say like this person or that experience was causing me to not be able to write or was like these hurdles, but I was my biggest hurdle at the end of the day. I would either start going to school for things that I didn't necessarily love, I'd work these jobs that I absolutely hated. I didn't even need to work the jobs. And that's actually kind of a fun fact about 
the longest company that I worked for. You know, I worked there for about six years and I remember going in there every day, kind of like clockwork, kind of like hamster on the wheel, robotic, whatever. And then one day when I was just so, cause I mean, I was stressed there a lot, but one day I realized, why am I here? Why am I working at a place I don't need to be? This has nothing to do with writing. Why am I here? <laughs> why do we do that to ourselves? Why do we go into certain careers that we know isn't necessarily, it, the career that we get into, it doesn't need to be our final goal in general, but getting a job in retail, what does that have to do? It's one thing when you're first starting out your job experience, of course you need to start somewhere, you need to work somewhere, but why keep picking up jobs in retail or jobs in fast food or being a waiter? Why consistently pick up those jobs when they're not really leading you to your main goal? But yeah, I wanted to dig deeper into this whole lack of motivation. If you guys have felt lack of motivation in general for things, you can comment below. But, you know, I definitely am just using this as some sort of, I guess maybe some sort of vent session where I'm like, what do I do? You know, like, who am I? You know, because I have a website, it's called Frank Anthony Books, www.frankanthonybooks.com, and there's no books on it. <laughs> and it's kind of like weird. So what I decided to do to kind of help with my lack of motivation is I decided, and the whole doing things that would kind of be in your field, is I did start a freelance service on Fiverr. It's called Edit Frank, and it is where I am an editor and proofreader, and I can also leave some comments on whether it's a manuscript or college essay or whatever writing piece that you have. I felt like, you know, that's something that's going to start getting me into a writing field, an editing field, and being an author, being a writer. It's things that, you know, we should be doing, we should be working, that's obviously gonna pay the bills, but something that we also enjoy too. I think, unfortunately, a lot of us are afraid of going for what we really want to, and that's just a big motto for me, is go for what you want to in life because life is too short. Don't be doing things that other people are solely telling you to do that you know you don't want to do. For example, if someone's like, go be a doctor, because they're just like, well, doctors make a lot of money. It's like, but if you have no passion for that, if you don't want to save people's lives or even work with you know people in a medical field, it's like, why are you gonna go for that, you know? So yeah, if you enjoyed this random video, you can like it, you can subscribe, comment, share it. All right, guys, have a super special awesome day and bye.